this is an anniversary. And uh, we're marking some of the folks who lost their lives in our neighboring city, New Orleans. I was also thinking about um, the stories that my family has from that time. My husband was uh, involved with running the George R. Brown shelter. Uh, he had just gotten back from Afghanistan, and two days after we hit Houston, after picking him up in the airport in Austin, he walked into the George R. Brown and didn't come home for almost six weeks. Uh, I watched people come from New Orleans on buses and get off with, with their hair damp and their, whatever stuff they had in, in um, plastic trash bags. I saw an amazing effort by the citizens of Houston. Uh, I came down Polk one day, coming up to park to go and volunteer and help during the day. And there were cars pulling up on the side of the George R. Brown, and volunteers were unloading the cars and passing goods down so that the people didn't even have to get out of their vehicles. Clothing and shoes and um, housing goods and, you know, dishes for the kitchen. It was just astounding. One of the reasons that I ran for city council, that I decided that being a large council member was something that I was interested in doing was because of that experience. I saw what this city was <laughs> doing. And I saw the incredible spirit of Houstonians reaching out to their neighbors and taking care of business. You'd walk in the George R. Brown every morning, and it would be completely redone. Whatever it was the day before, it would be different the next day based on what was happening. FEMA was coming in. They would have lines and stations set up. The next day, it was the Red Cross. It would be a completely different setup. They had a, a full-scale pharmacy. They had, they had showers. They had uh, amazing things. Uh, I was standing there and saw some center point engineers muttering about putting a second deck in and housing people. And I think at that point, folks went, whoa, 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 we're not going to be open that long. But, but there were so many companies that sent their very best, Marathon Oil and Second Baptist and um, uh, center point. And just so many groups came through helping and doing amazing things. People came from all over the country to see what we were doing. Um, I think that that effort teaches us two things. One, one is the incredible can-do spirit of the city, the ability we have to turn on a dime and respond in a, in a philanthropic way, to give somebody a hand up but not a hand out. We managed to find housing and jobs and, and help kids get back in school all over the city for so many people, and many of them are still here. But uh, I think it also reminds us how close we all live to the edge. I think it is important not to forget that we're one storm away, one storm surge, one 10 feet of water away from being there ourselves. And this city is part of the infrastructure that makes it manageable, that allows us to respond to that kind of problem. I think it's easy to get up and, and complain about potholes or say, ooh, well, uh, I remember crunching over glass, getting here to try to figure out what to do. I made deviled eggs and used the mayonnaise and the eggs in my fridge to try to get rid of them because, you know, everyone's electricity was out. People were grilling meat and sharing with their neighbors and figuring out what to do about trees and all kinds of stuff. And, and um, you know, during Ike, we made things happen. They, they bulldozed mulch you know, from all over the streets, all over town. That's what government does. That's what the city does. And when you hear negative things about um, your elected officials or you try to decide, you know, if, if it's worth voting, I want to remind you what it is we really do. Because we get up in the morning and we come here and we figure out how to do this agenda uh, each week. But we also get up in the morning and know that if we're hit with a storm or something happens, that every one of us will be out there the next day with a pod, working with our neighbors, making sure that the city is safe, people are fed, there's gasoline, that the roads are clear, all of those things. The trash is picked up, that when you turn on your tap, there's water. And, and so I just um, am reminded today of all of those things and I'm very grateful for what we have and very grateful for who we are. Thank you.